on to the next three cars for the final one and for today we are showcasing the Corvette Stingray Convertible C3 1969 car basically nicknamed the Mako Shark this car I really don't know much about it I just know it's one of those cars that just stood out I guess I don't know I like the C2 more because the Grand Turismo showcased that one more. Where this one came Grand Turismo 2, I think. I don't think it was in the first one. I could be dead wrong. I've been proven wrong. <laughs> Remember transport? <laughs> Remember how the train stations, I didn't know you had the chain reaction to make those train stations? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, to the big wheel we go with this car, since it is America. America! Now home to FCC, so I can fuck up here anymore. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a real fuckery or not, I just, I don't know. I don't know how bad this is gonna fuck up our internet in comparison to other countries. Like, it's bad enough, North Korea, I believe, is the fastest out of the bunch. So yeah, if we have a war, I think North Korea is gonna win. Then again, it's probably Regis, Regisly of trying to say it, but you know, restricted. It's probably just restricted to the to the public where military can do whatever they want. So yeah, this is basically a classic muscle with its classic perks. It's a stiff controller and it reaches that's Actually, you know, I'll just demonstrate instead of saying that because I'll show you what I mean. That's the perks level muscles back there, man. You had to tweak the transmission, or you ain't going anywhere. Because they said it's so goddamn short for these gears. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why. I never understand that. I guess it was just how the transmissions were set up as back then. Maybe, I guess, to maybe increase stability. I just, I really don't know. Maybe it's just, or to uh, keep them from going to higher, faster top speed for cop cars, perhaps. I don't know. I really don't. Muscle cars have a weird trait of doing that. Yeah, 120 is pretty fast for muscle uh, back then. And you can't say it's the 70s, it's actually the 60s. So then past the 70 mark. And that's when basically the muscles start. You know. So yeah, this is a muscles muscle sports car. And the reason why I say muscle is because uh, there's like there's like a really specific iconic shape when it comes to looking at muscle cars. They're mostly like a box. At most. 
they do smooth out though, like this, this is pretty smooth. But it has that distinguishable box look. Like the Mustang showing off right there actually, which is the modern day Mustang. Although, it, it has its classic variants too, like especially the Shelby GT500, which is a, a tweaked Mustang. But those also look nice while at it. Actually, it's almost done. The colors are just missing a bunch of stripes. Actually, I don't know if they're gonna add more Shelby's or not. I just know they had the Cobra, which is the obvious one. Not a bad car, it just has short gears. It's really short on those gears. I think it, I think they didn't get rid of the the gear limitation until they saw sports cars or they saw the like our region sports cars like Ferrari or Rainbow coming to America and stuff like that, that's when they say, yeah, you know what, we need to get rid of that. Because like I said, this, this is like a, an interesting time because all of cars share this with mechanic. On top of it, so you're not just losing speed, you're probably going to blow up your car. I'm in that speed like that. My only guess, I mean, I did also born the drag racing too. Where all cars had quickest, we had, well, you need the quickest acceleration and deliver it at the end with the highest top speed. It's definitely a thing my dad kept doing when his younger, younger days, as you could say. Like, maybe sometimes we're burning, so I'm doing that, doing that too. I don't know. I really like that come from America is Gunseca is one of them. Another one is uh, the Phoenix Raceway track. That track is very nice. I like that one. They come from the hottest part of the country too. <laughs> that means a lot. Yeah, cause over, over there they at Phoenix, the most gets hot over there. Really hot. There we go. <laughs> I 
didn't see him this time. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back on Borderlands eventually. I just, I'm kind of taking a break. I'm shooting stuff. I kind of technically do that for the dailies enough as if, because I'm one of those guys that play the, play the games for their dailies. Like, especially Fortnite. Now, as much negativity as it draws Fortnite, I do, I don't mind playing it. And stuff. That goes the same with uh, Killing 4. There is some negativity I see in Killing 4, too. Like, for example, there's, there's like certain heads and certain armor pieces I won't be able to get because, guess what? They want you to buy keys. And guess how you're getting those keys? You have to buy it with actual money. There's no way to earn those keys. You have to buy the keys to play an RNG. How shitty is that? That is shitty. That is very shitty. Yeah, this looks like this car really needs a fifth gear though. I got something C C2 Corbett had, so I gotta shock this one. Don't. Now C2 Corbett, that's the smooth out. And then a C1 that was like a, a really nice oldie. <laughs> Worst time. The only problem was it was convertible. At most. There might be a hardtop version. But at most of I've seen that car, it was convertible. I don't know. The best example was. Uh, I believe his name was Lucius or something like that. Or Luca. Uh, Luca in Mafia 2, he drove a knockoff Corvette in Mafia 2. Pretty much. I guess that's one way to show example. Other, other ways to show example, I don't know. In a modern day era. <clears throat> you know what I like to see? This is. Here's an innovative dot for Gran Turismo to do. Uh, I like to see a race where you try drove a Model T and drove like an old fashioned race. That would be fucking awesome. It'd be slow as balls because, you know, Model T's, they probably don't go that fast. But yeah, I like to see like a really old car. It's like super old. I mean, a hundred years old, like the Model T has shown. The Model T is about like a hundred years old, I think. Then you got Model A and other versions. And, you know, the reason why that car stuck around because of, well, Ford didn't want to make a different car. He wanted to just stick with one car and make renditions of it. It wasn't until I think he died is when they were able to do, hey, we can produce different cars now. Like the Model A or other boards like that. Or the Ford F series. Like, I like to see a Ford F100 in this game, actually. That's actually the street performance track right there is one like that. Because they're low down. Kind of pretty, they look pretty fast if you lighten the weight and stuff. I think that would be a good example, and that's why I also like the Ford Lightning too, because it was such a, a beast. Then you got this. Then you got the Chevy Silverado concept truck too, which that was pretty fast too. Dodge, don't get me started on Dodge. Oh my god, there's so many, so many muscle cars Dodge made. Oh my god. You got the Warlock, you got Nova, you got the Dart muscle car. Which most surprisingly, Forza did. I do like the Warlock thing though, they should have kind of died. Chevy, well, you got the El Camino. 
got Nova, you got Chaville. Stuff like that. Good stuff. For at the time. If there is one problem about most of those muscles, they did share the same motor. Oh yeah, there's also the Chevy Monte Carlo. I can't forget about that one. Is that one... I think that's like a United Nations car, kind of. It's like a Unite between Mexico and America on that car. It feels like it. I can't say for sure how true that is. This feels like it. That's how the name is said. Yes, I finally saw the cones that time. Hey, you know there was cones actually over there. Yeah, this car ain't so bad. Just it needs the needs more needs a better transmission. <laughs> Fuck this limited piece of shit. One. That's it. Up. It's not good for, with that car in it, or not good with for that car. Yeah, on to the next car, so I'll be right back. Okay, so for the next vehicle we're doing, we are doing the Suzuki Swift Sport. That's our next car. Now, I know these cars ain't so great when it comes to normal performance, but I actually have, have a hell of a bias on these cars too. Because the reason is, these guys are known for fucking, for the Pikes Peak cars, man. Oh my god. Delicious Pikes Peak cars. And bikes, of course. They do make a lot of bikes. But, actually, I think they're more of a bike company than maybe a car company. I could be saying that wrong, but they're well known for that it's Scooter Pikes Peak car. And, technically, the Swift here has one too, if I remember correctly. And there's, then there was a purple one too, in Grand Turismo 2. I forgot what it's called though. I do recall that. But we're going to be racing at the Brand Hatch. This is a track I really don't care for very much, actually. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, it's gonna be a little slow race because it's an M100 race. Get the Mazda Miata right there for once I can showcase that. <laughs> yeah, cause for the... For a Pacific race, I'm gonna be doing a one car race because it's just best to do a one car race. Last time I had fun with the M100 race was actually a there was a there was a little tiny car that was in Grand Chester 6 that I liked that would that probably won the Le Mans or won or actually survived throughout the Le Mans race it didn't want it survived <laughs> I should should have not said that <laughs> you said it won the Le Mans what the fuck <laughs> but yeah um. sound offenses but I think it was oh god speaking of special car there it is right there it's the Samba bus <laughs> sweet Jesus yeah that thing has a horrible horrible performance for old bus it's funny though to see it though. It's like, oh Jesus. But anyway, I think I think the car was called. I don't think I don't think it was called Midget. I can't remember. I really can't. It's. 
I think it's also known as a clown car, too. For some reason. But it, it was a nice little car and a fun car to drive. Especially in the snow race in GT6, which, yeah, it's that's not a thing in this game, sadly. For now, in my in the future, you might see a snow race, which I'm kind of shocked we didn't. Got something like that, but yeah. Something to represent the gold. Ah, eh, maybe February. I don't know, there's still ant cars every month, apparently. Damn car. But the car almost actually looks like a, the SFR right there. It's not the Toyota 500, or whatever they called it, or the Honda 500 S. It's for her or something like that. It's not those. It's something else, but he brought that car back, which I was kind of shocked. And again, that car does look good. I like the little small car like that. Small little sporty car like that, and they got racing modified one, so there is a fast version. And that fast version is pretty damn fast, too. the Toyota one, they don't have the Subaru this time. They did not do that many clones this time. I think there is some, but it's not that big. And if there are clones, well, they're different on performance, so they're, therefore they are different. Which, by the way, even if they're clone models, there are some models that actually do stick out in comparison to the other ones. Like, for example, I know there was a Pacific 3, 300Z model. A very Pacific one where the performance was way higher than other ones. The other ones would hit 650, that one would hit 800. If I recall. There was something like that, I can't remember which one. 300 Z wasn't. I just know that one stood out way faster than the other ones in, comp in terms of competition. So yeah, there's stuff like that. Heck, I don't even think that's the, the R34 that's gonna, that I'm going to be showing soon. That one is probably not the fastest model. You know that's a Nurburgring. That's a Nurburgring name on it. Matter of fact, I think the inspect was actually faster. Uh, it's been a while since I touched Grand Transmo 6, and I, heck, I don't even know how legit that was either, so at the end of the day, who knows? Even if I say the fastest model, you think Grand Transmo will put it in? I don't know. I guess now there was one 300C that stuck out like the rest. And that technically happened to the Mitsubishi GTO, the 1991 version, for the the fatter, wider body, there was a slimmer one. Which I actually like the slimmer one more than the wider body one. Although the wider body one has a nostalgic reason of love too. Then you got the 
got the modern one, which was 2000s. Yeah, there was a really interesting year for that, Joe Cool General. Then Pontiac also made their own version of the GTO, if I recall. Pontiac did a lot of interesting things. I think they basically took the core concept of the car, because the Firebird is pretty much a Camaro. It's the Camaro. It's a modified Camaro. Maybe there's like certain models of the Firebird that stuck out in comparison to the Camaro, but overall, it had the engine and breathing mechanic of the Camaro. I think the time when Pontiac actually had something different was probably the time when there was a Pontiac GTO. And what I mean by that, I mean as in there was a GTO muscle car. That was also pretty awesome. There was two versions of that. There was a long body one, and there was a short, short box version. I like the short box one. For obvious reasons. In comparison to the long hardtop body one. I mean, I could say that's long, but then when you look at Cadillac, yeah. <laughs> And that's back then, Cadillac. Cadillac nowadays, they made some incredible vehicles too. Like the Cadillac CTS. Very nice vehicle. CTS V. But then they made outrageous vehicles like the Escalade. Or the one that Elvis drew. Or drove. That big ass body one, I think it was called El Dorado. Literally called El Dorado. Trying to think about something else to talk. I guess talk about some other Grand Turismo 2 cars. Like there's the there's the Playmoth Superbird, which is technically the Charger Daytona, which is a special Charger, and it has a tie-in history with uh, Richard Petty, I believe. That's why in cars he was the Charger Daytona. But anyway, basically the Superbird was a higher end to that version. It had a bit more stuff besides like a, a side attachment for bigger headlights or something like that. But then you got the Lister Storm. That's an old fashioned car. Yeah, especially the race car one. Sadly, at most, from what, the most of the modern Grand Tristans that represent that car, they mostly toss the race car in, not really the car. Then, I recall remembering a Pacific America one. I don't think it was an Eagle. Vector, yeah. Vector. There's Vector. Which, those are just some interesting cars, I must say. Then you got Dior. <laughs> which, there was two different versions of that. There was a bigger motor one, and there was a smaller motor one. Which makes sense, because how that car was made. It wasn't made out of record metal. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, very interesting history on that, considering from the back of the future on top of that. There's more to that car. 
Besides what's movie known. That's like the gun in 60 seconds, Shelby. There's more to that car than just the movie kind of work. Or no, it wasn't. I don't think it was. was it Shelby or was that Mustang? I forget. I can't remember. And again, there's two videos, or two, uh, two, two movies of that. There's the original one, and there's the one that, uh, had Nicolas Cage, of course. Yeah, there was, uh, one version where the guy had to steal the mock Mustang, if I recall. Which is a hell of a chase, holy shit. <laughs> Damn. They did not want him to let go with that mock, oh my god. Which was actually funny, because after, after going through all that police chase and shit, he found another mock and freaking stole that one instead. After damaging the crap out of the other one. So yeah, you saw another one nearby a gat. It was a gas station or something and stole that one. Not gonna worry, you have to see it for yourself on that. It's supposed to be one of those rare one of a kind vehicles. Oh, look, there's another one <laughs> on the side. Okay, another uh, manufacturer we're talking about is TBR. Those guys sadly died too. There's a lot of one, a lot of companies have been lately dying over on the year side. Lotus, TVR, shit. This shit, man. So sad. Oh yeah, then Lancia. But it was an obvious reason why Lancia died out because of the acid rain problem of the cars. A strange acid problem. Maybe it's because they forgot an ingredient when they made those cars metal or something. I just know they're don't they're not around as they used to be. Then you got uh Saab. Which I probably someone bought that. And they're somewhat back, but then they died out again. I don't know what happened on that one. You got the other one that didn't appear in this one, strangely enough. I don't know if it was because of Porsche or what, but rough. I don't know what happened there. Then for McLaren, I mean, as in beforehand McLaren, for this, the uh, Indy 4 and stuff like that. There was the uh, McLaren F1, which was a very outstanding piece of machinery right there, and so good looking. And then there's the Sound S7, stuff like that. They're incredible cars to look at for that time. Alright, so that's about it for the Swift. Very much. It's easy control, very comfortable car. Basic to basic, pretty much. Alright, time to go get in our car, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, my peeps. Uh, so, speaking of cars, we're gonna be driving the F40. One of the classics. There was another one called the F50, but I don't, I think, I don't think people give a crap about that one for some reason. I don't know why, it just this one has more recognition than the other one. But the other day, and to be honest, they look kind of similar. This one that looks normally good, and there's the other one that looks very sharp looking. I never care for the lights on that 40. So, 
So I was fine doing that, alright. Reset that, reset that. Alright, classic F4, here we go. With the racing sauce. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, of course, the Corvette has to smack me last. Oh, there's some dents. Oh, yeah, it's got pop up lights, too, so it doesn't. Just have one set of lights as two, which makes sense because it doesn't look like those lights on the bottom don't work that much anyway. Yeah, that's what happens when you wreck though. Speaking of Lamborghini, actually, the Kutosh actually has like multiple versions as well too. Besides the LP400, there was like I think there was an 800 one, and even that has the same problem as the LP400. The LP400 looks better than the other one for some reason. And you got the bigger Kaza, which is the Lava. Has been production. Oh yeah, there has been the the Lava SV. There's that one. The 
it's a rally car body. Yeah, there's those, there's those like just in case you want, if you want the body, not just the car. And also they're set up for the, for the, the ingrate instead of the actual grade. And of course, we obviously know who's up in front. Damn it, Dr. Porsche. It's too good. say the same way for the BMWs and grade 3 races too. I don't get that. Tries the loose grip tire. Brakes seem a little loose too on top of that. That broke too late. I, I don't know. I felt like I felt like it broke at broke at the right moment or the, or just get across the ground. to talk about to uh, music in this game. I gotta say, I kind of don't like it in comparison to the previous entry ones, but yeah. Well, then again, they add a bunch of the previous entry ones in this one. And that's fine, especially uh, the ones that are from Daiki Casho, since you can't get them on Spotify for some reason. Don't know what's up with that. Like even on Grand Christmas own playlist of favorite playlists because they make their own favorite play playlists because that Crash Banker did that. Actually, because there was Crash favorites, there was Cortex favorites, and there was Coco's favorites on Spotify. It was pretty fucking worse at the time. Yes, you want out, don't you? My hound dog. That probably yes. Damn, come on, car. I swear, I broke that the tones tonight. 
Yeah, sometimes they can be a little off on that. It's all I grab it, like a fucking missile though. I think I am moving like 160 miles per hour. Right there. Yeah, for a car, this ain't so bad though. It's very fast. Shock of mine. Yeah, it carries one of those signature squares that many of our cars had later down the road. Basically, the. I don't know what square is it called, really, but I know, uh, one of the Chevy, one of the special Chevy Camaros had that spoiler, too. So there is some connection to the spoiler. So many cars share this damn spoiler. <laughs> I just ruined something that there's a big ass brake brake light just below the little small round ones. I just realized that. I didn't know that was there. Yeah, there's actually a huge brake light all around the two lights. That's very. I didn't know that. That actually looked like it was just part of the color. That's probably a reason why I don't care much about the red. Because it hides something like that. Camouflage, we call it. That's very interesting. They put a brake light like that. Yeah, 
about to hit. About to be done for soon. And final lap. That was a fast. Yeah. I was actually probably the fast lap. That's about it for this car. So, on to. Oh, actually, I can't re remember how many cars we've done. Because we've done. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, we haven't did these three yet. Oh, okay. I guess on to the final three then. Because I already shown that car off. I shown that car off. Show that one. No, no, no. That one. Okay. So yeah, three, six, seven. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh. No, seven, eight. Wait, there was 12 cars. I just went there. One, two, three. Or no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. God. So, yeah, that's about it for this one. So, until then, I'll see you guys all next time. You guys take care. And you can probably hear in the background my dog is mumbling away on her food. So, she's a bulldog, we expect. So, until then, I'll see you guys all next time. You guys take care. And Toodles.